Hi everyone, welcome to another week of a grid design every week. This is week 28 and um, I have a new design for you. I don't have a name for it. Um, you can make one up, but I'm just going to call it week 28. So come on over to the machine and we'll get started. So first of all, I want to show you something. So Cameron, you're going to have to point at certain areas. Um, this is forget that part this is the design right here but we're going to quilt it in rows like this and I think this looks beautiful by itself I can just imagine this is a background where you um, um, mark half inch or half inch spaces and do your um, little partial um, blocks your your triangles and then um, maybe stitch another line of stitching here and do another row like that so um, just rows of these triangles with parallel lines that change direction but if you want to do the entire um, area we just quilt it in rows like this and it ends up looking like kind of like arrows going downhill. So that's what it looks like. I did this one with some darker thread and as you can see, it shows every boo-boo, every unstraight line, every place where I didn't travel well. So like um, I tell you a lot of times, lighter threads are much more forgiving. So I'm using a pale green um, today and that's gonna be nicer. Now, I are, one thing with this design, and come down here now and look Cameron okay so here's the area we're working I've done one row I'm gonna just start in and show you some more but with this one some of our grid designs are a lot easier because we don't have to pre quilt the grid lines but this one um, it's on the diagonal so we had to quilt all those grid lines and then we even had to do another line and so um, as I've mentioned before to do that, especially in a small area, your ruler foot and a, um, a ruler work nicely. And I don't know if I can grab this without knocking the camera. Let me see, I wanna show you my other ruler foot. Yeah, I got it. So this is sort of a generic ruler foot that I got um, from Westerly Products. Um, it's W-E-S-T-A-L-E-E. -E. They're from Australia and they make these ruler feet. And um, this is a Bernina shank that it attached to. It's a little confusing to order these because I didn't know which one I needed and I actually ordered the wrong one first. Then I ordered another one and got the right one. But um, now then Bernina came out with its ruler foot which is nice because it's adjustable. But if you're looking for a generic ruler foot to fit your machine, check out Westerly products. So there's that, and I'll put that away and put the ruler away. So, let me try not to hit the camera. We'll get started quilting this design. Gotta get my old rubber fingertips on. All right, now I've done one row, I'm gonna travel right. over. And we're just going to Quilt parallel lines. Now the main thing here is when you're traveling, take your time and um, try to um, do a good job traveling. So let me see if I go one, two, three, four. I'm going to go down here. Now remember your parallel lines just do the best you can. It's much harder to um, free motion quilt straight lines um, than it is curves. Yeah, this one's going to require a lot of traveling. Now you'll notice I'm sort of making an effort to match up these lines when I um, stitch them, the points. All right, we're gonna have to travel down here again. That's why you want to um, pre-quilt those grid lines 
because you're going to be using them for your little shortcuts a lot with this design. See my straight lines are anything but perfect. Just do the best you can. I'm gonna get up here. Yeah, I almost couldn't tell that I that grid line. This is one where you just need to take your time and try to do a good job. get to, well I actually do have those marked, I was going to say we're going to get to a line um, that I don't have marked, but I have to think about which way to make them. Whenever you change directions in a grid design, um, you need to stop and think about it because you can mess up. I mess up, everybody messes up. So it just takes a little thought. Going up, um, going the other, you know, up from the bottom, we don't have to travel as much. Some designs are really more um, directional. One way they work a lot easier. So you can see it's moving a lot more smoothly going up from the bottom, but that's okay. I don't mind traveling. I just have to take my time. Do a good job of it. Hands. So I'm doing about four lines, four parallel lines within each block, and for this um, three-quarter inch diagonal grid, that seems to be a good fit. If you have um, larger blocks like one inch you might put five or six within each one. It's all just going to depend on uh, what look you like and how much time you want to spend on it. Okay, so I don't have these marked. I need to think about what I'm doing. I'm going to come over here. So I was going um, from the bottom left up to the upper right. Now I need to change directions. No, I didn't. Um, another thing to way to look at it is just know that on each side of your square, your lines are going to be going down to that point. So always remember that. Just 
finish up this line and then we'll and in this row and I'll pull it out and we'll look at it. So even though my line started out pretty crooked and wonky, they're getting better. Just takes a little bit of warm up, a little bit of practice. And a conscientious effort to try to make it look pretty. stitches off and pull that out and have a look at it. So even with the grid lines it looks pretty. We'll turn it over and look at the back in a sec. Let me cut those threads. All right so can you see that okay Cameron? All right let's plop it over and there's the back and that really looks lovely in my opinion. So like I said I'm not perfect, I'm not a machine, but um, if you take your time and do the best you can at, and you use a thread that's forgiving, you're going to get a beautiful grid-based quilting design. So that's that. I hope you like that one. I think it's really pretty. Um, so if you think about it like this, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I do tell my students this. You know when you do um, beautiful handwriting, you're making a, conscient, a conscious effort to put that effort, put the work into making your handwriting beautiful. Um, if you've ever admired somebody's beautiful handwriting or penmanship, um, they don't just do it be, like automatically. They have to make a conscious effort to do that. So it's the same thing with these grid designs. Take your time, try to make them beautiful, and they'll turn out pretty. So just um, think about that. So take your time and and, um, and they'll be beautiful. And I think I haven't mentioned my book and DVDs for a while, so I'll quickly do that and then I'll let you guys go. So remember the grid design workbook and some of my, I have an eye quilt, couple of eye quilt DVDs, and then my um, 30 tips and tricks for better machine quilting, which is all about um, things that will help you improve your machine quilting on a domestic machine. And it's even got tips um, that will help your long arm quilting or your hand quilting. So hope you enjoy those. Check them out on my website, quintessentialquilting.com, and I'll see you next week. Thanks, bye.